Black Panthers were on the rise in the United States of America. And they seem to be doing good things. They seem to be able to feed their communities. They seem to be able to house them. They seem to be able to look after them. So we thought, why not start up a Brisbane chapter here? And we did. Everyone has the right to defend themselves against an aggressive enemy. And it is inhuman. It's denying a person's human rights if you give a gun to one man and don't give it to another one. Young activists took a revived Aboriginal dignity in directions that surprised even themselves. And I believe everyone should be uh, uh, allowed to have guns. That's what land rights mean. That means a lot of money, and it means a lot of people that are getting rich off your blood and guts. <laughs> we accused all sorts of wide and wonderful things. We were accused of gun running into your car. This is total crap. The Black Panthers, I think, were the statement of frustration about what wasn't being done here and what needed to be done here. And that Black Panther movement really expounded the necessity for survival programs for us to at least survive the genocide of the world. In terms of the 72 movements, in terms of the Black Panthers, in terms of the survival programs, and even up to this point in time, we're only talking survival. We ain't talking living. In terms of, of media, in terms of the politics, in terms of the law, whatever they make judgments about me in the material world, essentially, to me, it doesn't mean a pinch of shit.